What was the situation as far as rehearsals and concerts and everything? Were you, did you see any of the rehearsals, any of that? Oh, definitely, every day, every day. Frank, uh, Rick, they had a huge basement in this log cabin, and uh, so they set all their instruments up in the basement, right under my room, actually. My room was on the ground floor, on the first floor, as you call it in America. Yeah. Um, and uh, they were right underneath, so when they rehearsed every night, my, the floor of my room nearly, you know, was like a elastic band jumping about. At night they rehearsed, it was about half past ten at night, and two policemen came, and Frank uh, flew up the stairs because Gail went and got him, his wife, Gail went and got Frank, and um, he came up because he obviously was terrified that someone had found drugs, and um, he was so frightened about something like that. But when they said, you've got to stop playing music, he was visibly relieved, and he said, oh, is it too loud? And they said, you can't play after 10 o'clock at night. So from there on, they rehearsed every night from 6 to 10. And every every night, they, the mothers were there, all the mothers, and they rehearsed downstairs. But of course, Frank was always moaning about them. He never stopped complaining. He was never happy from that point on. The first day he arrived at the log cabin, I got there a day before him, he was telling me that he wanted to break up the group. He wanted, he always had this idea that Every tour should have a, be a different group, and that's what he eventually did do, of course, with it later on. But he kept going with the mothers until August 1969, um, when he finally did break them up, and that was very, very bitter because they ended up owing him $10,000, and uh, they were mortified because they were penniless and they they thought they were going to get a, you know a, a, a bag of gold given to them when they broke up and right. so she said you owe me ten thousand dollars you wouldn't have to pay it back they were so disturbed you could see how upset they were so he finally said well let's forget about the ten grand and they did but it was a very bitter breakup why would they have owed him ten thousand dollars their manager herb Cohen, they were on a salary and if they didn't turn up for rehearsals they had their money docked they got two hundred and fifty dollars a week i think they were on something like that they were earning that whether they were touring or not so then, at the end, when the bank broke up, they then had to do their uh, uh, accounts, and they had to take off all the amount of money they earned and take off all the holes that they, the, um, you know, the equipment being taken. They had so much equipment and all the sound stuff, and there was, and so. Frank had said that he had to take out loans to keep the, the group on the on the road. Wow! And that's. That's where it was. I mean, it's hard to believe. Some of them believe that Herbie had pilfered some of the money. Uh, he never seems to go short, but uh, I, no one knows. No one knows.